This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is a content creator video. We get Elsa Bloodstone here temporarily. In fact, we did not get a lot of time with her at all. And because I'm grinding for a champion, I didn't have a lot of time to spend with her. And she's going to be removed uh, on the 3rd. So let's take a quick look at her. I know a little bit about her, but... There are her champion tags. Take a look at her attributes here. Switch over to percentages. Her block proficiency didn't really impress me all that much. Uh, armor rating, yeah. All right, and let's look at her synergies. All right, so you just take a look at the synergies. This is a first look here. Uh, nothing that I saw was earth shattering. These two here can be useful, all right? Uh, the Beauty and the Beast, that cooldown can be useful, uh, but we'll talk a little bit more about that. All right, and let's look at her signature ability. Now, my initial impressions of her signature ability is that she doesn't really need to be awakened. It doesn't seem to add a ton, but that is just my initial impression. Uh, for some fights, when fighting science champions, uh, it'll help out. When she's fighting large or extra large champions, it will help. All right. Um, her critical damage, it does increase it a little bit. So it seems like this is useful only in certain situations. Either you're fighting a science champion, large or extra large, or you're fighting the final node in a quest. So my initial impression is that she doesn't need to be awakened. All right, let's take a look at her abilities here. Now, when she is affected by a bleed debuff, uh, non-mutant champions gain a passive degeneration. All right, so all of these things here seem like they add a little bit more damage, but again, conditionally, non-mutant champion, okay? So against a mutant, not going to get that. All right, and while she's suffering from a non-damaging debuff, like, oh, I don't know, armor break, she has a 100% chance to purify one of any debuff every 2.6 seconds. That can be useful, but she has to have that non-damaging debuff on her. Now, here is the unique mechanic. I have never seen this before in the game. When performing a well-timed block on basic attacks, Elsa has a 100% chance to evade. This ability goes on cooldown for 11 seconds. Now, remember we talked about briefly that synergy that reduced this cooldown by two seconds. So that can be useful. I don't know how useful, but it can be useful. When performing an evade, Elsa counterattacks with her revolver. You're going to see that and deals 201 direct physical damage on hit. This attack generates no power for the opponent. All right, so we will take a look at that, because to me, that was the thing that stood out the most, because it was something unique to her. All right, and I'll just take, let you guys take a look here at the rest of these. Uh, most of this stuff, honestly, didn't seem all that... Uh, impressive to me but that's just my initial all right now this one here these uh hellfire rounds if the opponent has triggered an evade or they are immune to incinerate a matching cold snap debuff is inflicted instead which prevents evade from activating so she has a little bit of utility against evaders so that kind of uh caught my attention all right so Let's go ahead and go into Realm of Legends and show you her animations and that unique mechanic that I was talking about. 
Okay, so we're just gonna go in with Elsa Bloodstone, no synergies, no teammates, just her. And we're gonna see how she goes here. And I'll try to get you guys to see all of her animations. And I'll try to talk a little bit about uh, what I'm doing here. Now you saw that right there? That was a well-timed block. She evaded it and I was able to go in. You saw her revolver. Uh, now I've been in here before and she does not take uh, his damage very, very well. Now you saw that? She did it again. All right, so let's try to get him to throw it. Come on, Winter Soldier. Thank you. All right, so here's her special one. Nice one. Does some pretty decent damage. Okay, let's bait it out again. And now we'll work up to her special two. There we go. Now he's acting right. Sometimes I don't like fighting Winter Soldier because he just doesn't act right sometimes. All right, let's see if we can get it again. Get another parry. There we go. See that? All right, and then here's her special two. That seems to be the one that does the most damage. All right, and then you're going to see how much damage she takes here. See, that's quite a bit of damage. Now, keep in mind, she's only a rank three. So... She's not going to be too impressive damage-wise in any of that. But she looks fun, okay? And now we're going to work up to her special three. Okay, so I like that special three. It's kind of funny. All right, so there we go. We did another evade, as you saw, and it's on cooldown. So we can do regular parry. So this might be something that you don't like. Might get some, uh, uh, take some getting used to. Okay. So right now, what I'm going to do is cycle the uh, special twos. Because that seems to be the big money damage. Okay. And I'm going to try to bait out as many of his special ones because I'm running suicides. So spamming specials, not a good idea if I want to survive. All right, so uh, she doesn't seem to be too suicide friendly. All right, you saw that again. Uh, she did the evade, pulled out her revolver. Okay, work up to another one. See, this, um, since it was on cooldown... I was able to parry him. There goes another uh, special two. And that special two does a lot of damage. I would love to see what she looks like as a 565. But you can see the damage that she is doing as a rank three. Pretty, pretty good. All right. I didn't mean to push him to his uh, special two. Because then I'm going to take all of that. In addition to the... Uh, recoil damage that I'm taking from spamming the special uh, two. But look at that damage. That is a lot of damage. Alright, saw that there? But I want to bait out his special so I didn't follow up. But what you have to do when you do parry and you get that, you have to be quick and just uh, dash in and attack. Because he'll be stunned for a little bit. All right, see if we can uh, bait out another one here. Come on. Come on. Thank you. All right, another special two. Very nice. Very nice damage. All right, there we go. Saw that. Okay, let's get another special one out. All right, now I'm going to work my way up to a special three just so I can avoid taking a whole lot more recoil damage. Okay, come on. Thank you. Tell you, win a soldier. He be funny sometimes. Okay, come on. See if we get it. There we go. 
Okay. Yeah, she's... I like her animations. She's uh, pretty fun to play so far. Oh, he tried to get me. All right. Get that special three going. This time I got a little bonus damage. <laughs> Unlike the first time. Look at that. Bam! Very nice. Okay. But yeah, she she's not bad. Now, I don't know where I would use her. Now see right there, I went in a little too late because I was worried about uh, pushing him to a special two. I didn't want to do that. But you can see here, she uh, does some incinerate damage, so she would not be too bad on certain paths in Alliance Quest where you need incinerate damage. Okay. Let's see, we got him. All right. Get that special two. Look at that. Nice damage. All right. Yeah, I'm down to like 35% health. Yeah, see, I don't want to push him to a special two. Or else I would have followed in right there. Okay. Let's get another special two in here. Although he is in assassin range, I actually don't have assassin on right now. Alrighty. Let's get him, all right. Do up that special uh, one, nice. Okay. One more uh, special two should do it. Oh, and he played nice, thank you. And down he goes. All right, so not too bad remember she is a rank three and uh 319 hits now keep in mind i was not spamming my special two which is the big money damage and i was trying to build up you know special one special two uh and she does have multiple hit specials so that hit counter is a little bit inflated so just some things to bear in mind uh but i would like to see her at 565 all right now let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons that I see in her and hopefully that'll help you when you decide whether you want to go for her or not. Okay, so here are my initial thoughts on Elsa Bloodstone and I apologize it's not very in-depth. We didn't have a lot of time with this champion and I wanted to get something out there to you guys before she becomes available to everyone. So. Her pros, she has okay damage. That special two seems to be the big money maker. She's only a rank three, but she was putting out a pretty good amount of damage. So that's something to take a look at. I don't know what the best rotation is for her yet. Uh, so hopefully in the future, I'll make another video when I actually have her and we'll examine and perhaps have a better rotation. She also has a very unique parry counter mechanic. So on a well-timed block, as you saw earlier, she will evade, fire her pistol, which does damage, and it does not cause them to generate any power. So that I have not seen in this game before. I also heard that it'll work against stun immune opponents as well. So that can be a very unique utility uh, for her, all right? Uh, and she has some pretty good animations. I like her animations. I like the uh, special animations. The special three did make me smile, all right? So uh, there's still a lot to learn about this champion. Uh, right now, she seems pretty good. Uh, that's about all I can say at this point in time. Now, the cons, she's not suicide friendly. If you have to spam that special two to get the good damage, then she's not going to be uh, suicide friendly because you're going to take a lot of recoil damage. And since a lot of people do run suicides a lot, I have to mention that as a con. Uh, she also doesn't seem to have any immunities. So that can limit her usefulness with certain nodes. 
And her synergies were pretty lackluster. I, I was not really that impressed with her synergies. All right, but overall, she seems like an okay champion. Uh, if she went low, I would certainly go for her in the arena. Uh, but that's for you guys to decide whether you want to go for her or not uh, from what you've seen. Uh, take a look at Dark Zodiac's uh, video. He went more in-depth on Elsa Bloodstone. So if you want to know, know a little bit more about her uh, and go a little bit deeper than I went here, definitely check him out. And that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.